sounds like some people are trying to walk a very fine line here. I know you point out in your excellent piece on this that Senator Sanders, obviously at one time contending for the Democratic nomination himself, was asked about whether or not he thinks Trump will be a legitimate president. I think his answer was something like, well, he's going to be inaugurated on Friday. I mean, not exactly taking a hardline position on this. It puts Democrats in a strange place. No, uh, Senator Sanders, by the way, said the controversy was just words. So he was he was given an invitation to declare Trump uh, illegitimate, and he did not go there. Uh, right now, we have around 40 House Democrats who say they're going to boycott the uh, inauguration, and that just happens to be about the size of the leftmost wing of the House Democratic Conference. If you look at the, some of the various rating agencies that rate the voting records of uh, of uh, uh, members of Congress, there are 41 Democrats who have perfect liberal voting records. One of those, by the way, is John Lewis. The question is whether questioning Trump's legitimacy will actually spread to more moderate Democrats. Now, we've seen Joe Manchin, the moderate Democratic senator from, uh, from West Virginia, say he believes Trump is absolutely legitimate. We've seen David Axelrod, the longtime aide to President Obama, say he disagrees uh, with John Lewis about this. We've seen Dennis McDonough, the White House uh, chief of staff, stress that President Obama believes that Trump is the, quote, freely elected president of the United States. So there are a lot of Democrats who are not going along with John Lewis on this. Byron, do you think if it was a lesser uh, Democrat who had sparked this conversation, maybe somebody newer to the game, not with the uh, status of a uh, civil rights icon, somebody lesser known, uh, not an historical figure, do you think it would have as much sway as we know the pickup that we're getting with uh, Congressman Lewis? Yeah, well, you're, you're absolutely right about that. If it were some obscure backbencher who said this, it would, it would not have caught fire uh, the way that it did. Uh, John Lewis, and with his stature, not just among re Democrats, but among Republicans, everyone else, John Lewis sort of demanded attention uh, by saying this. Attention had to be paid. And if you'll notice, uh, even the people who say they disagree with John Lewis always include in their disagreement an expression of respect for what John Lewis did 50 years ago mm -hmm. in the civil rights movement. But there's, there's no doubt that this got to be a bigger deal because of the influence and stature of John Lewis.